Hi, my name is Kelly Price and I play Pauline Moore. Hello, I'm John Hopkins. I play Mr. Lucas and Mr. Scruton. Hi, I'm Dean Chisnell. I play George Moore. I'm Asha Banks and I'm playing Pandora Braithwaite. And I'm Ben Lewis and I'm playing Adrian Moore. I'm Amir Wilson and I play Nigel. I'm Connor Davis and I play Barry Kent. Well, it's it's about um, a boy, Adrian Moll, aged 13 and three quarters, and uh, he writes a diary, and it's all about his life and going through, um, like, a 13 teenager's life. And, like, how his so parents, like, get divorced and then they get back together in the end, and his school life and how he gets bullied and mm. how he thinks he's an intellectual mm. and sending poems to the BBC. Well, it's set in the 80s, so it's all uh, glamorous and everything's like new. And it's, yeah, it's about a boy who's basically going through his like puberty life. And he's uh, learning about life as he goes along. He's like, as this whole year, the, sh the show is like his whole year and it explains everything that happens in his life, good, bad, and the ugly and all he of writes, that stuff. He writes a diary about his He life. writes a diary about everything and everything is like through his eyes. So he's always on stage, which is very cool. Um, I suppose the musical is like a year in his life um, and it's he's sort of a, an eccentric boy in a very ordinary world and um, we see things through his prism which is quite kind of weird and wonderful. Um, the book and the musical have the same sort of flavour but obviously we're turning it through amazing music and brilliant songs and vibrant dance routines and, and whatnot so it's quite different but really exciting. Um, well, like Pandora is like, she's a really fun character to play because she's a strong female character. She's like a feminist, and she's she believes in like equal right, equal pay, and like I really like playing her because it's it's like a strong character to play. Yeah, it's really fun to play Adrian as well because this show is all about him and his diary, and it's really fun to play around with that. And it's yeah, exciting. Nigel is his best friend, and. Um, yeah, Nigel's quite cheeky, quite funny, and um, he's, yeah. I play, <laughs> I play this boy named Barry, and he's a very menacing character. He's like the school bully, and like everyone's afraid of him, including Adrian, including the teachers as well. The only one who isn't is like the head teacher, but he knows his. He's like this character's got very like a lot of authority, and like he can just walk into a room and everyone will like bow down to him because he's that menacing. And I love this play in it because I've never had that sort of <laughs> authority before. So yeah. Yes, I play George, and he's um, he's just your typical sort of 1980s um, husband, really. So he doesn't treat his wife particularly well, and um, without giving too much away in the, in the plot, um, he regrets some of that over the over the year, and um, hopefully things turn out all right for him. Then. Uh, and I play a series of antagonistic swines. Uh, I played uh, Lucas, who's the sleazy next door neighbour, tries to, anyway, I, that game anyway, he's just sleazy, he's next door. Um, and I uh, played Mr. Scruton, who's a proper 1980s headmaster when you can hit children and stuff like that. It's great. <laughs> and I'm Pauline Mole, who's Adrian's mum, and she's a, a housewife and a mother, and um, she's sort of going on this slightly feminist journey of self-discovery herself. Um, she started reading Jermaine Greer's female eunuch book so she makes some changes in her life which actually affect Adrian and whatnot but they, they the family kind of go on a little journey together but you know, she's very well meaning just uh, kind of yeah has, <laughs> not always in the right way <laughs> not always in the right way but you know she's doing her best as a mum and, and it, it's really fun to play her yeah Yeah, it's it's fun like playing characters who wouldn't have like had mobile phones, who would have had to like mm. socialise in other ways, like at school, like there's the school disco and that's a really big thing for them because yeah. they don't get to socialise in any other way other than at school. Yeah, like when um, Adrian sends a letter to the BBC, usually nowadays you just use technology and it'd be like by email and things, yeah. wouldn't it? My parents grew up in the 80s, so they were all like telling me about it. So, and they were like, Oh, I've read this book, I love Adrian Mole. Oh, you should totally go for this. This was like before I even auditioned, and they were just like, Oh, it's set in the 80s, you're gonna have a cracking time. And I was like, Oh, okay, because I, I, I didn't know nothing about the 80s. The only thing I knew was like He Man and not He Man. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah he man, that's it. <laughs> all of those stuff, all these bands that my mum loves. My uncle and auntie read the book when they were little, so yeah. Um, I read it. I read it when I was ten. I read it when it, I read it when it came out when I was younger than he was, which is terrible because I took it as like an actual guide to what my adolescence would be like, mm. which is really wrong, especially the stuff about penis length I discovered. Um, but uh, it's, um, it's, really, it's really fun to go back there. It's a completely different world. There was so, like Leicester, I grew up in a small town. You're so isolated, pre-internet, pre-major TV and satellite. You live in these little brilliantly sealed worlds and because of that, Everyone's imagination was much more fired up, I think, because they, they lived in their minds. Yeah. And so you get Adrian's imagination flying yeah. off. And it, for us, I think um, it's very nostalgic. You know, mm. we're, we're wearing our costumes, we're sitting on the set that is so beautifully done. And it's, it all means something, but back then we didn't know what it meant. And just to see how time has changed, but recognise parts of our childhood. It's really quite bizarre. Yeah. Um, you know, because this was, this is set in 81, yeah. which is the year before I was born. But a lot of the things I recognise from my childhood, and it's just a bit odd. <laughs> it is odd, you go, what I've been doing all my life. But no, even just being in Adrian's bedroom and little things appearing, like I couldn't believe it that this Orville duck appeared. And that was just so part of being a little girl for me. But And the costumes and the vibrancy of the 80s is, is, is so alive and so, so, so much fun. Mm. So we get to wear really garish things again and unapologetically, you know. And, and the dance routines as well, all the 80s dance moves, it's really fun to do, so we're enjoying it. We're enjoying mm. stepping back in time, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really enjoyable because like, we're like creating it as we go along. We're like creating our own characters and the way that we think they would be, rather than like having a set character that we have to portray. The, the other musicals I've done is like, because I've got there and they're like, okay, this is a show that's already been done, so we're teaching this. But then as like the rehearsal process goes along, it's like new stuff happening constantly. Uh, it's, it's really fun. It's like a good experience. So like in the future, if, there, if I do get in like any other new musicals, then like I know what to expect this time. Because it's all, it's all magical and crazy. And it's all good. Oh, it's very special to create something. And, um, you know, in a space like this as well. I mean, yeah, it's just a uh, really fabulous experience for all of us. Come and watch me playing Pandora. And me playing Adrian in The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, aged 13 and three quarters of the musical. Come see me as Barry Kent. Come see me as Nigel. At the Menier Chocolate Factory Theatre. We are on Tuesdays to Sundays until the 9th of September. And you can book tickets at www.menierchocolatefactory.com. <laughs>